Um, we're back here at Sip, Fine Spirits and Cigars. Um, today, I think we're going to smoke Fratello. Fratello, Navita, Atlantis. Atlantis is the size of the boxer um, by Omar Freyes. And uh, let's take it in here, smoke it, and see what happens. Okay, here we are uh, with this Fratello Naveta Atlantis box of size, which is a torpedo. Again, this is by Omar de Fres, uh, from this cigar actually comes out of the Hoya de Nicaragua factory in Nicaragua. Um, let's pull the band off. Packaging is very nice, attractive. Um, today we're going to go with deep deep cut. Um, I'm partial to that because you get more smoke, more flavor, more body out of the cigar. Um, my preference. Um, so, cold draw, pre light. We got sweet hay. Sweet hay and sweet tobacco. The gnomes, the sweet tobacco, and hay as well. So let's get it lit up and see what it's going to taste like. Toasting it. Right off the bat, the aroma is very welcoming, um, which is a good thing. Uh, nobody likes a stinky cigar. Very nice aroma, sweet tobacco. As you can see, full body as far as smoke. Um, I am getting deep notes of wow, it's sweet. A um, little bit of caramel, oak. Um, Either a deep dark cedar or oak. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. The oak, which is, I like it. That's not a bad flavor. Anyway, we're going to get into the first third and uh, come back and see what other flavors we get. See you soon. All right, my people, we are back here at Sip Fine Spirits and Cigars. Um, this cigar is very good. Um, I forgot to tell you guys, uh, the wrapper is Ecuadorian a squirrel. Binder is Dominican Republic, and the filler is out of Nicaragua. Um, the wrapper on this puts out the sweet uh, caramel notes, and Dominican Republic uh, binder is probably giving the uh, also sweet components, but oak as well. Uh, I have light oak tang. Um, also have light pepper spice. You see, out the nose. Mm. 
nice, spicy, it's not overwhelming. Um, the oak on this puts out a beautiful aroma with the uh, combination of the palm and sweetness. Um, the construction on this cigar is pretty good. Um, pretty good line. Ash is holding pretty good. Stack like dimes. Um, it's not even falling off or anything like that. So well constructed cigar. Um, deep notes. Have a lot of deep notes, but sweet as well. So and with the oak, it puts a pretty good balance to the cigar. Um, and like I said, you got a little bit of pepper spices. Um, pretty good cigar. First third, going into the second third. All right, good people, we're back. Sip fine spirit and cigar. Uh, we are smoking Cartel Nevada Atlantis boxer size torpedo. Um, the cigar is by Omar Defres. I hope I'm saying that right. Little side, um, this guy started at NASA. He's making a lot of money, six figures. And for the love of tobacco, started this company. And uh, nice guy, I've met him. He's been here to sit. Um, big guy too. Um, has a good passion, a healthy passion for cigar. Um, and this cigar, I'm going to say, is probably his best one so far that I've smoked. This is the first time I've smoked it. And I like it. Um, I'm having it with, with a coffee right now, but the notes on this cigar, my goodness. Um, so the second third, we still have the light oak. Um, we also have pepper, and we also have spice. Now, in the second third, we're starting to get cocoa, um, sweet chocolate, sweet dark chocolate, and also still the caramel is slightly there as well. Um, spice is through the nose. Um, with a slight pepper. So, if you like to rotate on it through the nose, you get a lot of little light spice through the nose, and you get a lot of flavor. Um, second third is construction of this steel. Perfect line, um, holding together well. Take good care of the cigars here, so the construction is showing that as well. Um, we have a oily, semi-oily wrapper leaf. I guess that's what your Ecuadorian Oscuro leaves will look like. Um, very, very oily, shiny, and it's uh, sweet. So, the second third of this cigar is better than the first. Um, and I like the complexity. The complexity uh, is telling me that this cigar was well blended. Um, like I say, you have the Nicaraguan filler, you have the uh, Ecuadorian score wrapper. And you also have the binder, which is the new thing. It's a lot of flavors. 
spice, sweetness. You got the oaky uh, notes that are in there. Um, I'm enjoying this cigar. Uh, I'm gonna do a good job with this cigar. So I'm get through the uh, third part of this cigar, and uh, we're gonna come back and get some final notes. See you in a minute. We're back here at Sit by Spirits and Cigar. Oh, by the way, Huntsville, downtown, come by. Um, here we are smoking the Fratello Nevada Atlantis. Damn good smoke. Um, final third. This cigar still has the oak, the uh, spice, pepper, the caramel, sweet chocolate, and it was balanced out with a strange note of middle or vegetable uh, notes, and it balanced it out. It was uh, pleasant. And uh, the cigar is still full, full body, medium in strength. Um, still have the pepper, sweetness, or the pepper uh, spices with sweetness. Um, the oak in this cigar makes me think this will pair very well with the scotch, any blend of scotch or any type of scotch. Um, so when you come to sip, pair it with a cigar. I mean, pair this cigar with a scotch. Um, also, Preston's pick, if you see this video, he mentioned to the tobacconist, I would like Preston's pick for this week. It will be this cigar, the Fratello, about the Atlantis. You'll get 10%. Um, so, the final third, like I said, it had, still had the same uh, notes as the second, uh, second third, um, except it had like a vegetable component come in right at the final third. <coughs> the body, like I said, full, the uh, well, medium to full. Strength is medium, um, so uh, you might want to have a little something to eat. It's not going to affect you or anything like that. Um, the aroma in this cigar, pleasant uh, from light to finish, uh, because of the oak and the sweetness of the wrapper, puts out a great aroma. Um, I think you like this cigar. It is no word. You'll smoke it all the way down. Um, so, for our second installment, another great cigar. Come in, try it out. Like I said, mentioned to the Immaculates, I would like to press the pick the wheat. We'll get 10% off paired with uh, scotch, any scotch. And uh, you'll be pleasantly surprised. So, next note, you guys have a great day. Smoke well. <laughs>